Hey now, everybody. All right, first things first. Uh, the last time I checked, which was about an hour ago, I am at a thousand subscribers. Uh, why, to me, that is a very wow worthy number, especially doing just comic book haul videos. You know what I mean? The, this time last year, I was at 150. I was thrilled at that number. All right. So to be at a thousand uh, subscribers and to have that many people watching my videos on a consistent basis, you know, you'll see some people with, you know, that many subscribers and only maybe they'll get like a quarter of those, a quarter views per video. You know what I mean? So uh, to have that as many people subscribe to me actually watching each video, that's uh, that means a lot. And um, uh, there are a lot of uh, people, you know, telling me, you know, a lot of encouraging messages and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? I really, really do appreciate that. I haven't gotten back to um, every comment, but um, I plan on doing that. So a thousand subscribers. Uh, thank you. And I appreciate that. OK. Whoo, boy, we had a week. I, we had a week. Every book you see here, I picked all up this week. I didn't start off with any of the books that you see here um, at the beginning of Monday. All right. So um, we, we, we went in. We went in. And matter of fact, check this out. All that, all that I had to re rebag. So, yeah. It's, it was a hell of a week. All right, I'm still t and, I, and you know and you know what I'm still not done uh, bagging a lot of the books. And like I'll definitely keep the boards if they're clean. I'll reuse them. I don't care. All right, Detective Comics number five thirty two. I've seen this book in quite a few videos. Um, this is a Bronze Age. This is early eighties. Uh, still the Bronze Age and. A Bronze Age Joker issue. A tough book to for me. It was a tough ass book to find, really. Um, but you know what? Let me backtrack a little bit. Um, I went to two different stores this week, and but there was a third store where I picked up uh, basically just maybe two books, and um, which you'll see in the hot book alert coming up. But um, these two stores, man, whoo, I didn't expect to walk out with as many books as I did. Um, this first set of books I got from a sale that they were having. It was like a 30 percent off sale. Wow. I call, I like I went in for one book. I left with I left with a stack. All right. So. All right. Um, again, Detective Comics, a really tough book to find. Bronze Age Joker issue. I think how much was this? This was 15 bucks with 15% off so what around what I, I'm bad my math is uh kind of funky right now so what, what what is that like maybe 10 bucks or something like that so 10 bucks for a bronze age joker issue and this thing is in very very high grade all right another book this one I was so surprised at how cheap this was um a Stephen Platt Moon Knight issue this is number 57 from uh the night this is from 1990, what is this, 93 or something like that? Yeah, 93. Stephen Platt, Moon Knight issue, uh, guest starring Spider-Man, uh, number 55, 56, 57. I think, uh, I think uh, until number 60 or something like that are all Stephen Platt, and they are so hard to find, especially those um, first three from 50, 55 to 57 really really tough to find this book was four i think yeah four bucks with the 30 percent off so it was what like three bucks or something like that wow really cheap ass book really cheap book oh here's something cool i found another copy i have my second copy of uh batty man from the new 52 the annual number one um really uh man really relatively expensive book around a $20 book I got for less than cover price all right with the sale because they had it marked at cover price pretty much and I got it um less than that with the 30 percent off so hell yeah okay I picked up uh Batman Detective Comics number um number one annual 
I had this book when it first came out, but I like destroyed it somehow do, being dumb. So I bought it again, you know, and got it for less than cover price. So hell yeah. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Woo! Woo! Uh! X-Men Origins Deadpool One-Shot. This book is so fucking tough to find. You have no clue the number of shops that I went to uh, looking for this book. I mean, it's always gone. You'll see. I got lucky finding uh, the X-Men Origins Gambit. Like, that's a tough book to find. But this one is real tough. I I don't know how tough it is for you, but for me, it was, it was like, it was... It was crazy to come across this and to get it for how much did I pay for this? I got it for less than cover price. All right, so it was like probably like around three bucks or something like that to get this for three bucks. And this is a easily, easily a thirty dollar book. All right, so mm, hell yeah, that's what I'm saying, baby. Mm, yes, let's we gotta take a look at this some more. Hey, some more. Uh, some more Deadpool, Wolverine number one fifty five. This is a, a relatively tough book to find, I, I believe. Um, it had guest starring Deadpool. Um, how much was this? This was ten dollars, and with the thirty percent off, it was what one? It was like seven bucks. So definitely, definitely worth the seven bucks. Hell yeah! I made I made a point to try to look through every book that they had. I'm talking every book that they had out. Um, I I sort of kind of did, but um, I kind of pooped out after a while. But I found that. So thumbs up, baby. What's up? Oh, I found my second copy of The Strain number one. Got that for oh, how much was that? Like four bucks. And then you had a, the sale price, so less than four bucks, like what, three or something like that? <laughs> oh, worth way more than that. Um, how much is this book worth? Like around 30 bucks so far, maybe more than that. So hell yeah. Oh, wow. You know what? Let's go into some, let's go into this. Uh, the Millennium Edition, uh, Flash Comics number one. A very, very, very cool. It's a reprint. <laughs> reprint. <laughs> yes, I, yes. This is this is a reprint of a uh, golden age issue. So, you know, yeah, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, but yeah, this is really cool. First appearance of the Flash. First appearance of Hawkman. Um, you know, just it, it's a really, really, really fun. I like thumb through it, and it's a really fun read. Hawkman's name is uh, Carter Hall, and my first name is Car is my <laughs> I fucked up my first name. <laughs> my first name is Carter, and I feel a kinship with Hawkman just because his first name is Carter too. But anyway, uh, here we go with Harley Quinn, number three, the steampunk variant. I got this for seven dollars. All right, wow. I had been searching for this book for uh what at least a month or so. Uh, been str totally struck out. I missed my chance on it, or so I thought. This one is in probably very fine shape. There's a little nick, 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 nick. You know, there's a, there's a few nick. There's a few nicks. It's not perfect, but I got it for seven bucks, and I had been searching for it. I was so surprised to find that in their uh in their long boxes. I was just like, whoa, really? Seriously? Come on now. What? Nobody was searching for this. So when I saw it, I, I, I was like, ooh. I was like, are you serious? I, like, I had to look around and make sure I wasn't getting punked. All right, but yeah, check that out. That's cool. That is fucking cool. Injustice, Gods Among Us number three. Yeah, it's the first print. Why not? I got it. Oh, here we go with uh, some more Harley Quinn. Batman Strikes, number 45. All right. So we have Harley, Batgirl, Catwoman, and Poison Ivy. All right. It's all good. I can I can rock with that. Some more. Uh, Batty Man Strikes with uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. All right. Definitely. 
I got to Okay, first off, first off, first off, with these Batman Strikes issues, if you see them, buy them. All right. If they have uh, Harley Quinn on the cover, go just shut up and buy them. All right. Because the last time I checked, um, I checked eBay and these books are going for at least uh, 20 bucks. All right. And that's like the sold. You know, if you check. Uh, what they've what they've sold for, you'll see that these go for like twenty, like fifteen or twenty bucks. So, and I got these. How much did I get this for? Uh, shit, less than cover price. I got these for less than cover price. So, if you see Batman Strikes with Harley Quinn on the cover, go on ahead and buy it. All right, some more uh, Gotham City Sirens, pretty much, with uh, number twelve. I, I think I'm going backwards here, but yeah, uh, tough. Relatively tough to find issue, and another tough to find uh, Gotham City Sirens issue is number ten. Yeah, great covers, man. These covers are the truth. Mm. These are cold. These are really cold covers. All right, all right. Hot book alert time. Hot book alert. Hot book alert. Hot book alert. Hot book alert. Now we have a we have a set. Okay, and we're going to start with Dreadstar. Uh, from what I understand, uh, Dreadstar is going to be optioned for a film. All right, and I think the news broke on Monday. And by Tuesday, all those all those uh, Dreadstar comics, well, just uh, number one at least. Number one, like, just got snapped up like that. So... If you see, uh, Dread, uh, this is that type of book. It's an epic. It's a Marvel epic title from the early 80s. And it's that type of book that you'll see easily in the dollar bin. That, shit, it's the, this is the type of book that you'll easily see in the quarter 25 cent, 50 cent bin. All right. And some ha and news of the uh, news of the optioned film. Now, an optioned film means it may or may not get made. You know what I mean? That's basically what that means. But um, since it's in the news, uh, people are or people are speculating on it and people are going nuts for it. Uh, my suggestion, because um, I, I knew I wasn't going to pay a premium on this. So I, you know, I was going to try to find it as cheap as possible. And I did. I found number one for how much was this like five bucks and then you had the 30 percent off sale this is basically what i came went into the store for and then i can't and then i left out with all those left out with all these books so um oh wow and dread star's first appearance dread star's first appearance is an epic illustrated number three all right you need to pay attention to this all right Again, this is Epic Illustrated is that type of title that, you know, you, you basically trip over at a comic book store and you go, Ew, what the fuck is this? Ew. And you kind of and you just kind of kick it away. Well, um, number three is at the at the beginning of Monday, at the beginning of this this week, Monday. Uh, it, it started off as like what, like a three, four dollar book and all of a sudden, over, uh, well, over the course of the week, um, it uh, the highest that I've seen it go for, Epic Illustrated number three, the first appearance of Dreadstar, uh, the highest I've seen it go for is $79. So it jumped up that much, that fast. All right. So, and this is that type of title you can easily go stealth by. All right. So... I would recommend you uh, hit yourself up a comic book shop Saturday morning and uh, try to find Epic Illustrated number three, uh, which is going for around, uh, to be fair, I would say eas easily a $60 book. This is easily a $60 book right now, or a magazine. And you have uh, Dread Star number one, which is going for around, I want to say 15 bucks. all right, in near mint shape. Again, a book that you saw in the dollar bin going for $15 now. Um, like maybe a $4 book with Epic Illustrated number three going for 70 bucks. That's crazy. 
And Epic Illustrated number one is getting some residual burn, so to speak, some some shine, I guess you could say. Um, I got this is a near mint copy, I guess you know, near mint, very fine. Um, picked this up for right, okay. How much did I pay for this one? I got this for four bucks, yay. And I got Dreadstar number one for what? How much did I say? Less than five. I uh, got this for around four or five, and I think it's going for around uh, around twenty. So that's my hot book alert for this week. So I hope you guys paid attention to that. And we still got some more books for you, baby. We still got some more books. All right. Oh, here's something really cool. Here's something very, very, very cool. Okay, now we're starting off with. Uh, we're no, we're actually ending with. Uh, shoot, come on, let's let's get in. There we go. We still have some more books to go. But we're ending with uh, this final store that I went to. Um. Power Man and Iron Fist, number 54. Now, this is considered the first appearance of the Heroes for Hire. This is the first time that they're called Heroes for Hire. Now, I saw this in a few videos, and I think I think a couple of other videos, and I was going, God damn, really? People are really just like, just clamoring for first appearances and first time this is called that. And I'm like, damn, really? But then I check and I see this book is going for like around 20 bucks. And I'm like, damn, for real? And oh, what is so cool about the store that I got these uh, next books from is that um, they just set out a, a collection of books. And they were going for, they were Bronze Age and 80s books. And they were going for like 3 to $5 a piece. Now... I actually still have the $5 books. I'm not going to show you those yet because it's just too much. But I'm going to show you some of most of the $3 books. So I got this. This book is near fucking mint, okay? Near mint for 3 bucks. And I think it goes for like in this in that condition definitely goes for 20 at this uh present point in time. So hell yeah. Oh, this is a really cool book. Uh some I'd been looking for um for a good long while action comics uh reprint <laughs> this is the reprint of action comics number one from 1988 uh celebrating the 50 year anniversary of uh superman and uh i got two i found two i found two of them for uh three dollars a piece that is fucking cool um these go for about i think about 15 bucks um they're not perfect i think they're more in probably very fine minus shape because there's some browning uh along the cover there but overall man i am real like i was so surprised to find those two there so i'm like fuck I, got I gotta snap those up okay guys check this out check this out um i'm not sure what the I, like when i saw it i was a little like what the hell is this now this reprint this is uh dc superheroes comics now this is a play world um I guess Play World book. You see that? And you see that kangaroo right there? Now, Play World was a was um there were a chain of um toy stores th from from the 80s. I remember them from the 80s. But where I lived, they were called Here you go. Lionel Play World. But where I'm from in Cleveland, they're called Lionel Kitty they were called Lionel Kitty City. All right? So, um, and I guess they released these books, uh, th in their stores and here's still the, um, the price tag is actually on the book. <laughs> yeah. But I don't mind that just because it's so, to me, it's kind of cool. You know what I mean? Nice little, nice, nice little remnant of the eighties right there. Hell yeah. It's, where I'm from, there was Kitty City. Children's Palace and Toys R Us. Those were the three uh, main toy stores uh, where I lived. But yeah, that's, uh, to me, this was really cool. And from what I can gather, like I don't see any of these on eBay at all. And um, from what I <clears throat> researched, um, these go for about 10 bucks. So I'm like, okay. And there's like a volume, and there's like a, this is series two, and there is a series one with like a blue cover. 
but um, they didn't have that there. But Series 2 is good enough. I, I just thought that was really cool. Okay, Saga of the Swamp Thing number one. I'm surprised this book isn't worth that much. You know, it doesn't go for what I think it should just because. But I got it for three bucks, so yeah. it's all good. Oh, here's something really cool that I picked up. Detective Comics number 566. That's to me this is super cool. This is a really super cool book, really high grade. Uh, this go in this in this condition goes for about 15 bucks. All right, and this is a beautiful book. This uh fe basically features uh Batman's Rogues Gallery. All right. Damn, this is a cool ass. This is a cool looking cover. Really cool cover. Mm. I really, you know, nothing really much to say about it, but it's just a, it's a, to me, it's a really cool book to have. And, um, I've, I've never actually ever seen this cover before. I know when I go to uh, shops, I never see this book at all. So it seems to be an in demand book. Here's another tough book to find that I picked up for three bucks. First issue special number four. Uh, first appearance of Lady Cop and the first appearance of, I believe, the Ace of Spades Killer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. It's all good. It's all good. <clears throat> but yeah, every time I would look in the first issue special section of any comic book store, like this issue is always gone. And I found this for three bucks. So uh, this is a definitely cool find to get. Definitely cool find. All right, uh, Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number one. Um, I, I, again, it was three bucks and it's in dead mint shape. Like this thing is perfect. I don't throw that. I don't throw that term around a lot, but uh, it's just something you have to get, especially in this shape. Honestly, it's like I should have bought all those books that were in that box that were in those boxes because they were just in such high grade that um, you know. It, it was it, it I was just so surprised that they were selling them for like three and five dollars a piece, but new stand copy, why the hell not? <clears throat> uh here we go with Marvel Comics Presents. Uh number one. This is basically a uh, glorified Wolverine title. Um I never really thought about owning it, but it was three bucks, so hell yeah, why not? I found myself another copy of uh Captain America number 117. I keep just keep coming across them. And this one is in really high grade too. So I'm just like, eh, why the hell? Mm, all right, why not? Three bucks? Oh, wow. <laughs> I just keep running into these now. Uh, Kung Fu Fighter number five, first appearance of Lady Shiva. Um, got this for $3. And it's in really, 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 really high grade. Like, really nice. I think in this shape, easily a $20 book, maybe even more than that. Even I think it should be worth way more. And this is a character that could, this is a character that you could, you could easily see uh, showing up on Arrow or something like that. You know what I mean? Just because she's just such a badass character. You know what I mean? And the hand-to-hand -hand fighting skills and all that kind of shit. Uh, phew, sky's, honestly, sky's the limit for this character. This is a badass character. Oh, here's something really cool. Uh, Spider Woman number twenty. This is the first time that uh, Spider Woman meets Spider Man. I saw this in a video, and I was like, "Oh, okay. Let me go on and get that. Why not?" Oh, uh, okay. Now I never. Now this is a book I just did not care about owning, but it was three dollars. They both were three bucks, so I'm just like, "Okay, why the hell not?" Um, Marvel Spotlight, the second volume, number six. And uh, number seven. Now this is the I guess this is the first time you see uh, Star Lord in uh, comic book form. Now I have his actual first appearance, so I really didn't care about owning these. But again, these were in really, really, really high grade, and um, they were three bucks a piece. So I'm just like, again, why the hell not? That's the theme of this video right now. Why the hell not? Um, and from what I, from what I looked at on eBay, these are going for, especially in these, in the, in this grade going for about $15 a piece. So I'm just like, all right, why the hell, why not? again, why the hell not? So yeah, uh, look, yeah, here, check, look at this, 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 look, 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 look at this, look at this. 
Ugh. I still got this shit to show you. Still got this shit to show you. And still some more uh, that I can't reach right now, but it's so many books, man. And I wanted to let the last video kind of simmer a little bit, but there was just too much comic book news and me going to shops and all that kind of shit. So I just figured, eh, let's do a video. Let's knock these out. Uh, I had fun this week. And uh, yeah, more fun should come. So thanks for watching. Thank you, subscribers. And I'll see you next time.